In 2014, Nika was torn apart by the thought that her boyfriend Marcus may have sexually abused her son. But Marcus was determined to clear his name on my stage. Here's a clip. About a week ago, I was accused of molesting my four-year-old stepson. My stepson first told his grandmother. He repeated the same thing he said to his grandmother, to my fiance. My fiance stormed into the room. She said that, he said while she was at school and I was at home watching him, that I took him in a room and was touching his pee-pee. Me and Nika are supposed to get married in a couple of weeks and she has postponed the wedding. I need to get my family back. I need to clear my name. I need to make sure that everybody in the world knows that I'm not a child molester and I am just a good-hearted person that wants to do the right thing, take care of my kids, and live my life the right way. About a week ago, I got a call from my mom telling me she had some disturbing news to tell me, that Marcus had been touching him inappropriately in his private area. You know I've never heard our son. I love him like he's mine. This is went from this to this. I'm tired of it. Why would he just say I'm not going to be accused of this. He has more than one person then. I don't care. He knows I love him and you love me too. And we have a child together. You think Did you I, think about that? Marcus, you think I want this? You think I want to see our Do family Do you think I apart? want that? Do you think I want this? But why would he say this to more than one person? He's not going to go into detail like that. He told you and Nika that too. And I want to know, damn it, what happened? You're not going to destroy my family. I died before my family gets some story because of you. Marcus came here today and we gave him a lie detector test and he was asked, have you ever sexually molested Nika's four-year-old son? He answered no. And the results of two lie detector tests is that he told the truth. Nick and Marcus were so happy after he cleared his name, and 10 days after the appearance, they eloped. But their happiness was cut short when doubts arose about Marcus being the biological father of Nika's young daughter. So they came back for a DNA test. How long ago after the show did you get married? Like a week. A week after the show, yes. you got married. Mm -hmm. So you had to be super happy. Yes, I was. And what made you start cheating? Well, about three weeks ago, um, somebody from my past recently came back into my life. And um, I started sneaking behind Marcus's back. I would tell him I was going to the grocery store, and I really wasn't, or I was going to my friend's house, but I was really with him. You're not even married a year, and you're cheating already. I didn't sleep with him. Well, you had oral sex with yes, them. Yes, I did. That's, that's cheating, right? Yes. That was just a one-time thing. That was a one-time yes. thing. Yes. So you only were with him one time? Correct. Even all those times you were sneaking out, going to the store, going to a friend's house? Yes. One time? Yeah, that's, I, we only did something at one Nobody time. Nobody in here believes you, including me. <laughs> Why is there a question about the paternity of your daughter? Why? I mean, I know you, you know, and you said uh, the only thing that you did was give oral sex. Well, there's no way it could be another man's. Well, three, about three years ago, um, when me and Marcus first started dating, I had slept with somebody else. Marcus, I love you. I'm, I love you enough to have told you. I could have kept it in the dark and not told you nothing. It's, it makes me feel horrible that I did this to you, and you I'm sorry. You feel horrible. Other than the one man Marcus knows about since marrying him, have you had sexual contact with any other men? And you said no. Since marrying Marcus, have you had sexual intercourse with any other man besides him? She said no. And the results are that Nika, she did tell the truth. <laughs> this is probably more important than the, the lie detector test, right? Because we all want him to be the father, right? Yeah. Marcus, that is your little girl. You are the father. Yeah. They left the show happy again. And now, 
Seven years later, they're back with an update. Uh, Nika, Marcus, I can't believe it's been seven years. How are you guys? We're good. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. sorry. You have to excuse me. I'm kind of tearing up here. Does it make you emotional watching it? Yes, it does. Oh, and what, Very, yeah. what, what, what exactly about watching that that triggers you to be emotional? Uh, just the fact that, you know, being accused of something that you knew was not true and, you know, it's kind of like I was in a, between a rock and a hard place. That's my mom and the person that I love going back and forth. It just... It brought that up again. I'm just, I'm sorry. And you're, you're talking about the allegations of the molestation. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And how, and how about you, Marcus? When you look back at that, knowing that you were accused of that, what do you, what do you think when you see that? Um, I think it was a very emotional uh, thing for me. Now, are there any more issues with relatives accusing Marcus of being a bad guy, or is, is, that, is that done with? Uh, pretty much after we left the show, uh, that was it. Nobody else has said anything um, or even brought it up, for that matter. So it's it's dead. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's basically after uh, the show and after everything was said and done, it was mostly put, it's basically put to bed. Oh, well, that's There was good. really no reason for anyone to say anything else. Well, that's right. good. Now, I told... Uh, both of you lost your jobs to COVID. Yes. Yes. Unfortunately, you know, with this whole pandemic going on, and I'm sure, you know, we're not the only ones uh, going through this uh, as far as, I mean, the whole world is going through it. But, yes, we were having a difficult time uh, due to COVID. But, you know, we're, put, we're making it. We're making it work. Well, hopefully, uh, you know, with these vaccines coming out and everything, Hopefully, the world gets back to where we need to be pretty soon. Yes, and, I hope and, so. <laughs> and how is your family doing? Um, as far as my family, everybody's fine. Everybody's, you know, doing good. My mom actually told me to tell you hello. Oh, so well, t we're tell, fine. You, <laughs> tell your mom I said hi. Now, Nika, when you, when you look at that, and, you know, especially the first time you're on, it's a situation that we cover a lot on the show. It, it happens a lot. People are accused. Uh, people get exposed, and people clear their name. What would you tell someone out there about if they were in the same situation you were in? Um, I would definitely tell them to, you know, don't turn a blind eye to it, especially if your child is telling you something. Regardless if it's true or not, you still need to, you know, get answers. And you were a big help, and your team were a big help for us. So I would say call Steve. All right. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Um, and, Marcus, you were falsely accused. Any advice you'd give to somebody, a man out there that is accused of this and he didn't do it? Um, the advice I would give is, you know, clear your name. You know, show, show the world the type of person you really are. You know? Yeah. Show them that you... You know, you aren't what everyone, you're not the monster everyone tries to portray you to be. Well, and listen, I think one of the, uh, the greatest things we do on the show is declare someone who's been falsely accused because once you get accused of that and you don't clear your name, people look at you that way forever. And, exactly. right. you, and right. they look at you like that. So I think it is important when you're accused and you haven't done anything to clear your name so that you don't have to walk around with that stigma for the rest of your life. Um, I agree. Listen, uh, I'm really glad, you know, I don't think this is your third time on a show. Uh, hopefully yeah. nothing ever happens yeah. to your fourth time, right? This was a great update. I'm really glad that everything has worked out every time you've been on a show. It's, I think it's worked out for your benefit. And we wish you all the luck, and uh, we hope you guys will. Thank you Thank so you much, Steve. Steve. We really appreciate, really appreciate you. you. Take care.